Senna. Pow! I have never seen the Transformers 1986 movie. Neither has Achara. I grew up watching Transformers the cartoon. Transformers! But I honestly don't remember it all that well. Unfortunately, most of my Transformers knowledge, our Transformers knowledge, comes from the films, the Michael Bay, the Bayverse. <laughs> And so, in light of the fact that there's a new Transformers film coming out, I thought we could familiarize, so I thought we could familiarize ourselves, wow, I can't speak English. So I thought we could familiarize, familiar, as of uh, this recording, that trailer has not dropped, but by the time this video drops, the trailer will have dropped. So if it's like weird that I'm talking about the trailer in future sense, future tense. Oh, words, oh God. That's funky. It's very calming music. Mm. This is very 80s. Yeah. <laughs> already. Not even too much. <laughs> like that one little synth. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's 80s, yo. Oh. Got lots of scientists. Thanks for the beakers. Oh, something's going down already. That's surely not good. It's Unicorn! Uh oh. That can't be good. No, we know that Unicron sucks. Damn, this is dark. The ships, get to the ships. Oh my it's gosh. Oh no. Damn. Yo, this is really like crazy animation. All the little. Pieces of debris. Look at that. That's nuts. That's all hand drawn. How the hell did they make this? <laughs> the sound oh. effect is fun. <laughs> is this like a US and Japan co production? Honestly, I'm not even going to try to hazard a guess on that. It looks like Japanese animation. Yeah. It is the year 2005. Wow. The treacherous Decepticons have conquered the wow. Autobots' home planet of Cybertron. It's on two of Cybertron's moons, the valiant Autobots prepare to retake their homeland. Very valiant. Ironhide, report to me at once. <gasps> Dang. When are we going to start busting Decepticons? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make a special run to Autobot City. It is wild how long he's been doing the Optimus Prime voice, dude. Yeah. Ready the shuttle for launch. Your days are numbered now, Decepticreeps. Creeps. Deceptic Creeps. This is quality. Well, what's Jazz, report security status. What's neat for me is just like the sound effects that I know have been carried forward into the Bayverse. Bumblebee and Spike here. Oh, We're about Bumblebee. to send up with Shadow. All clear, Jazz. Hey, Ironhide, tell my son Daniel I miss him. And tell him not to worry. This is not authentic. Bumblebee's not supposed to talk. He's supposed to speak the radio. Let's go. Now, all we need is a little energy on and a lot of luck. Okay. Fingers crossed. Welcome, Laser Beak. Unlike some of my other warriors, you never fail me. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. The emotional damage. I want you to make a special run to Autobot City on Earth. Oh no. He's hearing all of it. Ooh. Shit. Bad news bears. Oh my goodness. What is this soundtrack? <laughs> this is awesome. Oh no. Whoa. When we slip by the early warning systems in their own shuttle and destroy Autobot City, the Autobots will be vanquished forever. No. Uh oh. Oh no. That's rude. Meanwhile, on Earth. Yeah. Fish are jumping today, huh, Dano? I guess so. I just miss my dad. Oh, this is a flashback? No, his dad's up in space. Oh, gotcha. That's what they look alike. I was like, he looks like a small version of the guy who we saw as a grown up. So, <laughs> surely this is a flashback. The shuttle's coming. Let's watch it land. Ooh, what's that? 
That is awesome. We didn't have that in 2005. I'll tell you that much. That is super cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Like I saw something like that in Back to the Future too. Oh yeah. And I immediately wanted one. Why? Oh no. I love that the Decepticons are just standing there exposed like, uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> like we don't care. They're so strong. They don't care. Protect the boy. Hope he doesn't die in the process of protecting this kid. Wow. I want They're those all, cars. All wheel drive. <laughs> yeah. Rock, grass, road. Wherever. We got you. Springer, UNRC, Transform Autobot City. Receptor, town blaster to Radio Prime for reinforcements. What about me, Magnus? What about me? <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that coming. Hot Rod and Cooper are still outside the city. We can't wait. They'll have to take care of themselves. Come on. What? Rude. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. oh boy. That looks harrowing. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I don't feel bad about it, though. Oh, no. Did you lose a foot? I was close. Just when you think you're safe. <laughs> Some robo bugs. Metal termites. The insecticons are in our way. They're our way in. Yeah. Ooh. Watch out! Oh! Yeah. Contact Optimus Prime on Moonbase One! Cover your receptors, Perceptor! <laughs> Whoa! That is wild! Wow! Hand drawn, dude! Soundwave! Jam that transmission! Uh oh! Inject operation interference! They look like cassette tapes! They are! Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Do you read me? The Decepticons are blitzing Autobot City! Oh are no. That's a wrap on that. Oh, jeez. Oh, the size difference is... Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Save yourself! No way, two can play! Nice. Nice back kick. Ha! You thought you were the only one with cassette tapes. Do you think you got through to Prime? Well, let's hope so. Because if I didn't, we're all gonna look like burnt out toaster ovens. Oh, gosh. We got Decepticons in the gates. Decepticons in the air. <laughs> this guy's amazing. His voice made me panic a little bit. I thought, did I put this in speed mode by accident? <laughs> we gotta get this launcher into place. Megatron's making his big push, and we gotta push back. Helps at hand. To get him out. Yeah, we need the little kid to push too. That's what's really gonna tip it. Hey, he's got a. <laughs> you never know. Every little bit helps. That might be the straw. Constructicons, merge for the kill! Constructicons? Okay. Oh, shoot. That's a purpose. Whoa. Oh. Wow. How about no? Oh, gosh. That does not look like a Constructicon. Looks like a Destructicon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. The, the fighting went on so long, night. they had to show the passage of time. <sighs> Was it enough time Dinobots for Optimus? Yes. Me, Grimlock, love challenge. <laughs> Did he say Dinobots? Yes, he did. Yes! Oh my god, he's got long T-Rex. Oh, oh dang. shit. That was... So much for the long T-Rex oh, arms. Jesus. They're useless. Oh, no. Too chunky. All right. Finally. Good job. Uh oh, You're useless, no. too. <laughs> Rubbish. Megatron must be stopped no matter the cost. Oh. Oh. The classic line. No matter the cost. I wonder how parents felt at the time watching this. Happy to have their kids entertained for an hour and a half. I just remember watching Power Rangers the movie with my dad and loving it. And he's like, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> One shall stand, 
one shall fall. Well, so many of these lines carried through into the films. Yeah. Oh, no. I've got to help Prime. Stay away, lad. Hurry up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. This is personal. Oh, uh, uh, you didn't even try and dodge? Okay, good. That's intense. This is interesting music to pair with this I know, fight. it's, it's kind of like taking me out of it slightly. I dig it, but maybe not for this. I beg of you. You are without mercy. You're now plead for it. He's a Decepticon you for a reason. Stuff. No, you don't, Megatron! Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Dang it. Same spot, too. Oh, shit. It's over, Prime. No, it's not! Yeah. Take that and you're over. Poor Optimus. He always gets, like, so beat up. He gets wrecked every time. Every time. Don't leave me, Soundwave. <laughs> Take off! That's cool. Another Back to the Future thought. Back to the Future 3 had the f flying train, that mm -hmm. one. I fear the wounds are fatal. No! Oh, no! Mm -mm. I saw the other movies. He's yeah, fine. it can't be true. I shall pass the matrix of leadership. What? As it was passed to me. I'm just a soldier. I... I'm not ready. One day, an Autobot shall rise from our ranks. Oh my and gosh. use the power of the matrix to light our darkest hour. Dang. Whoa. Like, quite literally, I'm gonna give you this thing. Does it fit? Yeah, apparently. Oh no, is it gonna. Oh. Say it in so. Dang, turn great. Oh, jeez. Wow. Fellow Decepticons, Astro Train has requested that we lighten our burden. You think Optimus is gonna come back? Anything is possible. Oh, damn, they're just gonna yeah, throw out God. all the destroyed Decepticons. That's so mean. Oh, how it pains me to do this. It doesn't, though. Wait, I still function. What a bet. Maybe you should have been nicer to your teammates, to the people who worked with you. They hate you. I nominate myself as the new leader. Wait. Do we take a vote? The most powerful robot. We should rule. This is what always happens when there's a vacuum of power. Decons unite! Oh boy. Oh my gosh. No way! Yo, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> Oh boy. Literally, Autobots don't have to do anything. The Decepticons will take themselves out. That's <laughs> true. Just give them enough time. Just, just confine them. <laughs> they'll putter themselves. They'll putter themselves out. Megatron. Oh. Well, that's not that they're all floating in the same direction. Uh, towards. Okay. Oh, Unicron. Welcome, Megatron. Oh shit! He's gonna become more powerful. Oh yeah. I have summoned you here for a purpose. <laughs> Nobody summons Megatron. <laughs> Unicorn just even, did. Even in this dying state. You are to destroy the Autobot Matrix of Leadership. It is the one thing that can stand in my way. Oh. Seems their goals are aligned. What's in it for me? I will provide you with a new body and new troops to command. Oh. And, and nothing. And nothing. <laughs> Take it and like, shut up and go. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Wow, it looks like the Matrix code, huh? Wow. Doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Now, we're, now we're talking. He's getting upgrades. Galvatron. 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 This should be your minions. Scourge, the tracker. And his huntsman. Can anyone say new toys? <laughs> I will rip open Ultra Magnus and every other Autobot until the Matrix has been destroyed. 
That voice must be easier on the throat. He was talking like this before. Oh. And now he's talking more with a deep voice. The Galvin voice. (laughs) Shut up. Crown me. Wow. That looks cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. My fellow Decepticons, as your new leader. You don't have the voice of a leader, dude. Step aside. Megatron? Is that you? Here's a hint. (laughs) (laughs) Boom. Galvatron now, bitch. Oh, I thought it was going to explode him. Yeah, me too. Well, that's all so bad. Yeah. Pick up the crown and put it on your head, Galvin. Oh, he's like, crown? I don't need a crown. Yeah. You know who's in charge. What did he say his name was? Galvatron. It sounds like Ed Asner. I didn't ask for any of this. Galvatron. I don't think that name's come Where up in the movies. No, I don't think so. I wonder if the Unicron inspired the spaceship at the beginning of Star Trek. Was it the Klingons that they were fighting at the beginning? It had that look to it. This is jazz, the ginormous weird looking planet. And it's attacking Moon Base One. Oh no. Dang. It's very interesting how they show the destruction because it's not like a cacophony of destructive sounds. It's like right. a lot of the heavy lifting is done by the visual. This is Spike and Bumblebee up here on Moon Base 2. This monster planet just ripped the first moon to shreds. And it's heading this way. Oh no, daddy. But you'd better get here fast because we're not gonna- Uh oh, time to move. Oh no, that's distressing. Bumblebee, activate the explosives! Oh no. If this doesn't stop it, nothing will. I think Bumblebee's definitely been improved upon in the movies. The radio thing is a cute little... I like it. Yeah. He's probably my favorite character in the movies. He also just looks cooler. Yeah. Whoa. Maybe it was Romulans, not Klingons, that they were fighting. It was Romulans. Wait a minute! Look! It isn't even dented! Shit, what are we gonna do now? Oh, crap! All that for a drop of blood. Cybertron and all its moons belong to me! Hey, hey, now. Don't forget. Yeah. We belong to him. Mm -hmm. I belong to nobody! Look, Galvi. You're a slave now. Yeah. This new menace is more dangerous than all the Decepticons put together. Somehow we must destroy it before it devours Cybertron. I I still can't believe that Optimus is gone. That's like killing off Gandalf. It just feels the same. It's like, you can't do that. To the shuttles! I, Galvatron, will crush you just as Megatron crushed Prime. Wow. Oh my goodness. And you better stay close to me. No, you'd better stay oh. close to me. Oh. Hello. I thought she was with someone else. Nice. I know good dino, sweet dino. Won't you step into the nice face of the floor? Pretty, please. Pretty, 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 pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's useless dinosaur bots. You're infuriating. Okay, okay. The fire breath <laughs> thing is cool. <laughs> Oh, that's working out. Finally, fine. okay, good. Yeah. Finally, some use. I'm trying to get them into the shuttle, Ultra Magnus, because I know he can't launch the shuttle until I get them into the shuttle, but I can't seem to get them into the shuttle. Cup, hot rod, you guys get the Dinobots aboard and get out of here. He's like, listen, I don't want to hear your excuses. Just get them on there. <sighs> Come on, you big bozo. Get in the shuttle. Goodness. You know, or just leave them. <laughs> no man left behind. Are she still out there? Oh, no. Come on now. Oh, man. Is she going to die like Gal Gadot in Fast and Furious? Okay. Phew. They killed Optimus. Anybody could go. It's true. Yep, I remember the dust was so thick. (laughs) He's back to telling his stories again. Hey, cop, don't you think we have better things to do now? (laughs) Maybe figure out how we're going to rescue our friends. No, tell story. (laughs) We want to hear story. Uh Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did a cheap shot and he's calling time out afterwards. Cyclonus, transform and attack. They have a lot of aircraft, the uh, Decepticons. 
It's interesting that they chose those shapes because it's not necessary. What do you mean? For space, they could just literally look like a flat board. It's the I mean, as long as they've got the boosters, that's all that matters. We're gonna crash! Oh boy. Oh, oh. gosh. It's like Star Tours. <laughs> Cup and Hot Rod just bought it. I can't deal with that now. He's like, I'm just busy trying to survive. Yeah. The Decepticons are gonna dog us until they see us dead. Then that's exactly what they're gonna see. Prepare for emergency separation. Oh my gosh. I guess we don't. Emergency separation. Just bamboozle them. Like, where do you think we are? Oh, so they're in the other ship. Ha 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 ha. The Autobots have been terminated and the Matrix with them. <laughs> Wrong oh, again, no. Galvi. Can you locate a place to set down for repairs? Ahem. <clears throat> Yes, I believe I can. Anybody? Oh, oh no. no. Well, if oh, they... like piranha. Oh boy. Just oh boy. Eat the vines. <laughs> okay. You should have started with that move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Fix me. If he can put him back together just fine. I was wondering earlier why Optimus couldn't be like fashioned a new body or something. Right. And I was like, you know what, Jabby, it's shut fine. up. Yeah. Just don't overthink it. But then in front of me, they're showing like. <laughs> You're not supposed to think about it too hard, okay? And why does RC have lipstick? It's a woman's choice mm -hmm. to wear makeup. In fact, it's anyone's choice. Say something. Anybody. Oh my god, she doesn't look good. Nobody does. Daniel can make himself useful with this. Dad's exosuit. He told oh, me yeah. all about it. Here, yeah, that's the same as knowing exactly how to use it. <laughs> oh, that's keep dope. on practicing. You'll get the hang of it. He just keeps falling into her arms. I'm, star I'm starting to think it's not an accident anymore. <laughs> well, she's the most nurturing one. Stop the... Welcome, Wanganello stranger, with that good coffee flavor for you. Yeah. What? I was convinced I heard Owen Wilson for a second. Me too! Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh no. Oh, that's aggressive. Jeez. You need to watch the never ending story, Achara. That robot just reminded me of it. Uh oh. Oh no. I guess everybody's amused. We've got to get a new travel agent. Yes. <laughs> Kids aren't gonna get that joke. My planet was destroyed by Unicron. Who's Unicron? The worst. A planet that devours everything in its path. So he's basically a transformer black hole. Yeah. Guilty or innocent. Innocent. Oh what? no. Dude. Oh wait, so Okay. Oh no. This is great. Damn, you could have gotten out. Why did you torture me? The Matrix has not been destroyed. Galvin feels like Vegeta to me. Every time he thinks he's gonna, like, get ahead, he's always messing up somehow. Right. He thinks he's tougher than he is. Decepticons! We've got to draw them off and double back to the shuttle. What do I do? Transform! Transform! You can do it! You can do it! You're a human! Transform! Wow! Cool. Brian, you said the Matrix would light our darkest hour. It's not your darkest hour yet. I want the Matrix. No. Never. Sweep, terminate him. <sighs> Do you know what you're doing, Magnus? Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Oh, my God. What? My master, I shall make you my slave. Oh, jeez. They've been killing people off of this movie and it just moves on. Yeah. <laughs> no time to mourn. It just keeps going forward. Guilty or innocent. Innocent. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I thought dude earlier fell off by accident. No. I see now <laughs> that I did not see that correctly. Can you transform now? Yes. Okay. Jeez. These are ugly. Oh. oh, they're turning it into a whirlpool. Nice. Clever girl. Clever girl. Whoa. Oh, hello. Finally. So reuniting. Thank you, Dinobots. Excuse me. Shanticons, <laughs> execute them. Shanticons. Oh. Oh. Me, Grimlock, say execute them. 
What? The confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but oh, what about our problems? Whoa. We need a ship. Whoa. Gift stare over there. That's a ship. Who cares? As long as it flies. Fair enough. It's Hot Rod and Cup in the Dinobot. Yay. Guns aren't exactly friendly. Neither are they, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> ba weep grana weep mini bong. Ba weep grana weep mini bong. Oh, that worked out. <laughs> oh my gosh, everyone's dancing now. Hi, George Chemo Sabis, your smashed up friends soon like brand new with 90 day warranty. Aww, they're fixing Who's this? him. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Did they still have Optimus's body? Look, he's not so now. All alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the one that died, dude. Where's Galvatron? Where is he? And the answer is... Space. Unicron. Uh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Say I must end. Rush right on down and test drive. Ladies, please. <laughs> <laughs> Unicron, answer me. See this. The Matrix. Oh, smart. He's wearing it He's like wearing... bling. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you didn't even practice trying to use it. Me, that. Yeah, he keeps doing that. Whoa. Oh. Oh my, oh my goodness. I was wondering. Whoa. It's like one of those ancient beings from the Eternals. Yeah. What a time. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> He's like, ah. Oh. Now, we shall witness. It's dismemberment. I've lost all sense of scale. <laughs> I know, this is so... crazy. What, what? It's like the size of a planet. Jeez. Oh, shit. Squish. Why he just ate the Matrix thingy. What happened to Moonbase 2? Where's my dad? Yeah, where is That's your dad? That's what we're gonna find out. The only way to sustain that kind of size is to just eat everything in your path. Well, yeah. He's just trying to maintain mass. Oh, boy. Oh. Where's Hot Rod? I don't know. Uh, but I hope they didn't get him. Oh, jeez. They need to make a movie like this again. This I mean, movie's with... like, how much peril would you like? Well, I, all I mean is the soundtrack. It's just like so fun. I know, it's great. How much peril would you like? <laughs> I just process that. <laughs> I think it's like 85 minutes. Yeah. It feels like a full Michael Bay movie. It's a lot. It cannot be opened. Not by a Decepticon. Duh. We are allies now Shut up. against a common foe. Destroy him, Galvatron. Oh, oh shit. shit. Even inside his belly, he's got control over him. Puny Autobot, you lack even Prime's courage. Oh my god, he's like standing on the head. Um. That's crazy. Daniel! Oh, oh shit. No. Oh my god. Knock down the acid cover. <gasps> Help! Blast it, son! But I don't have a gun! Oh my god. This is so stressful. Oh my god. god. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No pressure, son. No! Oh my gosh. We're not gonna do dad murder. Daniel! Well done, kid. We all must die sometime. Not today. Galvatron, dust. he's just taking L after L. I, uh, I don't care. He deserves it. He really is Vegeta. <laughs> I will crush you with my bare hands. No. Die, Autobot. What? Oh, what? Maybe, We're cutting away from that? Maybe the Matrix wanted to be with Hot Rod. Maybe he's the secret to using it. Do you know what I mean? Because he was the one that caught it the first time. First. And also, prime. Transformers can be suffocated, then apparently. Ultra Magnus. He's holding his throat. Yeah. It's a pity you Autobots die so easily. Unless or he's trying I to pop his head off. Sense of satisfaction now. Yeah. Oh. What did I tell you? You got the touch. You got the touch. Arise, Rhymus Prime. What? I got goosebumps. He's on, oh, shit. What? I thought he was untouchable for a you? second. I got excited I for know, him. I know, me too. The end of the road, Galvatron. I'm gonna cuddle you to death. 
Oh, Bye. that was quite the throw. He breached that wall. Enjoy space. Like a perfect fit. Oh. Light our darkest hour. Wow. Is he going to survive this? He's the chosen one. I know, but he's going to be there when this goes down. Have faith. Bye-bye. Bad case of indigestion. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, his dumb ass decided to eat the Matrix thingy. <laughs> Springer, what's going on? No time to answer that now. Let's yeah, get let's, out of here. Yeah, exactly. Gotta, let's boogie. Let's gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh. Roll out. Let's go. His oh. other eye. <laughs> Bye. Destiny. You cannot destroy my destiny. Oh. Oh, oh shit. my god. <laughs> wow. You deserve that. What do you think? Is he destroyed? Destroyed? Yes. Yeah. The end of the Cybertronian Wars as we march forward to a new age of peace and Bravo. happiness. Till all are one. Till all are one. Man, they really killed off Optimus. I know. The movie hasn't ended properly yet, right? We could still come back. It I don't know. It feels like the end of a movie. I know. He could still be alive. No one ever really dies. <laughs> That was a movie. It was a lot of movie. It was a lot of movie in however many minutes it was. That, yeah. it was like, how many characters would you like? Yes. Yes. How much peril? Yes. Yes. How much excitement, explosions, people getting eaten and dying and not dying. All of it. Yes. And also, how many banging 80s tracks do you want in one movie? How many of those songs are real songs? Like, I mean, not, excuse what? me. What? I mean, let me rephrase that. How many of those songs are, are like actual, like pop songs? I don't know. I've never heard them before. One of them sounded like a- Like, like a, a legit. What happened? I just need a second. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of movie. It was a lot of movie. I was just like- I had fun. It was fun. I had fun, but I'm like, God dang, I need a breather. Like I needed the pause button. I feel bad for parents who had to take their kids to watch that in the 80s. Why do you feel bad for them? Well, I'm only going off my dad, like what he said. It's like, I was like, wasn't that a good movie? And he's like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you saying? think like we're too old for this movie? It's like, we're not the target audience. No, 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 it's not that. Like we, we're a different generation, right? Because our parents, come from a generation that did not experience a lot of change. Everything from the the boomers and before did not experience a lot of change, mm -hmm. right? So like the technology you saw in the 1600s is probably pretty close to the technology in the 1500s and the 1400s. Most of the radical change came after the industrial revolution, right? Sure. Uh, and even then it's like, it wasn't that rapid until the computers hit the scene. And then it started to ramp up and like, like really ramp up. And so we were born in a generation that's constant, in an era that's constantly changing. So I can watch this and appreciate it and also feel what like, the old man in me feels at the same time. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I get it. Um, I can be of the two different eras at the same time. Whereas like my father, and I can imagine parents from that era would be like, ugh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can definitely put myself in, in the shoes of, of a young kid watching this. I love that they had, you know, a couple of human characters and that the, the young boy character was actually quite prominent. You would probably insert yourself as the young boy sure. in the situation. And yeah. especially when he gets that moment to be able to help his dad, yeah. you know, and like be useful and save the day. I'm like, how satisfying is that? You know? No, absolutely. He saved his dad. That was pretty cool. That was, that was pretty touching. cool. And you know, the thing is, because they killed off Optimus, there had been death in the movie. I was kind of afraid that they were going to kill the dad. Gosh. I, I was like, it's possible this could be dark. <laughs> like, Can you imagine though? Like, I, I just I just feel like the, the kids watching this would have been distraught. Sure. It's bad enough that, you know, Optimus Prime had to go, but he's a robot. You know, <laughs> there's, yeah. there's a possibility that he could come back, I suppose, but a dad? Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. I was convinced they were going to bring back Optimus. Like they brought back Zordon at the end of the Power Rangers movie. They've they always they, you you generally always bring back those characters. Yeah. And uh, they they're like no no <laughs> he's gone. They 
do that all the time though. They're always like, no, Optimus is gone. He's gone, gone. And then by the end of the movie, it's like, <laughs> just kidding. If they followed this like in the live action version and like properly killed off Optimus, that would be something. <laughs> like, what a way to go. Right? You know? Yeah. Uh, it, the, I'm most impressed by just the animation itself more than anything. It's like, cause there's just so much going on. It's such a frenzy of information on the screen. A and lot. I'm like, yeah. all of that is hand drawn. Like I can't get over that. You know, even the dynamic camera movement, that's so complex because I remember when you, when you started seeing that in Disney films, I think a lot of that was helped by the use of CGI, mm. Beauty and the Beast if I'm not mistaken, was the first Disney film to employ CGI for that epic dance sequence in the, in the ball with uh, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. And so um, I, re I remember Aladdin also had some CGI, I think, in the escape from the Cave of Wonders when it all went to ship. And so um, here it's like, nope, that's all, that's all hand animated. That's freaking crazy. You know, typically with anime itself, I notice like the frame rate more. Here I didn't notice it as much because it, it's, it's like a different kind of frame rate from like regular cartoons or movies. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take your word for it because I didn't notice. Well, you see it in, in things like today, you see it employed in stuff like Avatar The Last Airbender or you see it in Spider-Man Across the spider uh, The Spider-Man films with Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. You see it's a different frame rate. For some odd reason, I didn't notice it as much here and I'm wondering if it was like a slightly higher frame rate for it being a film. But um, I can only imagine what this would, would have been like to experience as someone in that like tween era, tween years, you know, like mm -hmm. around 11 or 12 in 1986, watching this because I was, I, I was not old enough to be able to like this, this is, this is slightly before my time. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can only imagine what it would have been like to have been a kid to watch this on the big screen and to see your cartoon that you watch every day on Saturday morning now like this with like adult themes. In fact, like in, in so far as just like life. <laughs> death yeah. and stuff like that. And, and it's fun. I mean, I think they just kind of threw in everything just yeah. to be like, this movie's going to be big. It's going to have all the stuff. It's going to have so many characters. I honestly had a little bit of, of a hard time keeping up with all of them at certain points because yeah. I was like, oh my God, there's just, there are so many. Yeah. It, it hinges on you probably having a strong familiarity with the cartoon. Yes. Right? Yes, absolutely. It's, it's not really bothering to catch you up. <laughs> it's like, you know what's it's going like, on. You've been watching go. these, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so it's kind of like coming into the third Lord of the Rings movie or the ninth season of Game of Thrones. Like, you're supposed to know, right? And so I, I was doing my best to just kind of keep up with it. Optimus, I know. You know what I mean? And yeah. Bumblebee, yeah. I recognize that name. The sounds. So you're trying to like, trying to hook onto the things you rem remember. But what was fun was to realize how many nods there were to this era of Transformers with the sound effects and the phrases. Well, yeah, the phrases. I think it was the catchphrases that really got me. There's some things so enjoyable and comforting about knowing the catchphrases and knowing like it's like Autobot, Autobots roll out, Autobots transform and roll out, you know, yeah. like all of those things. I They just make me so happy. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just a familiarity or something like that. It's like, yeah, I recognize this. This is fun. I am trying to find out how much uh, the, the, the cost of the film would be today. It made 1.779 in its opening weekend. Well, how much was it made for? It doesn't say how much it was made for. The final box office gross was $5.8 million, which is equivalent to $16 million in 2023. It made $16 million. I wonder why it didn't do better. Because kids, kids have to have parents to take them to the movies. Do you know what I mean? And if your parents don't want to take you to the movies... So it, it was. It wasn't a, a box office smash by any oh. stretch. Yeah, that was made for the art. <laughs> like, that's made, that. It was made for the art, for the fans, for the love. But you know, it's really like crazy though. Just the detail in that, and it makes me wonder how much of that was in the um, cartoon, like of that level and that quality. You know, how much they upped the game for the the right. film. And so it, it was Weird Al. His, I was right. It's a Dare to Be Stupid by Weird Al Yankovic. Oh my God. What is that? It's something Bush's song, Stan Bush's song, The Touch. You got the touch. Is prominently featured in the film, having been originally written for the Sylvester Stallone film Cobra. Wow. Wow. They got a song that was written for Sylvester Stallone in this movie. It says that a remix was featured in the 2012 video game Transformers Fall of Cybertron, and the song is featured in the 2018 film Bumblebee. Music was... Stellar. Awesome. This is so much fun in this. Like, I couldn't help but just bop the whole time. 
It's, it's, it's so like high energy. It says the Transformers, the movie, is the final film featuring Orson Welles. Yeah, Orson Welles did Unicron's voice. That's crazy that his last performance was was this. That is crazy. Wow. He did the voice on October 5th and then died on October 10th. I've only had the privilege of experiencing Orson Welles' first project and last project. Wow. Uh, I need to watch his other stuff now. Uh, but... That's wild. So Slate reported that his voice was apparently so weak by the time he made his recording that technicians needed to run it through a synthesizer to salvage it. It still sounded wow. cool. It did sound cool. Hold on, I guess oh, this is this is this is this is such an interesting like Wikipedia thing yeah. on this movie. It's worth checking out if you guys haven't seen it because like we don't. This video should not be us going through the whole Wikipedia article, but yeah, this is that's that's crazy. There's like a whole thing here for this film that did not perform very well. Who is Leonard Nimoy in this? Jeez, I forgot. Galvatron. Okay. Oh, he was Galvatron. Robert Stack was Ultra Magnus. I, Robert Stack. Robert Stack is the the um, unsolved mysteries guy. As a kid, he would always, he had a TV show called, called Unsolved Mysteries that I've I watched all the it. time. I think it was a weekly show because I don't think it was every day. It was a weekly show. Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight, all new stories on the season premiere. He's got a great voice. Mysteries. It sounds so dark and mysterious. Dude. Oh, that takes me back to when I was a kid. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was the best. What an experience. What a movie. And so, uh, what a landmark in, in in animation history. Yeah. You know, I wonder if they'll re-release it. So, anyways, you guys, thanks so much. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is... Achara Cook. Peace out.